It's the fun guy guy, the fun guy guy. He finds the fun guy, we find out why he's the fun guy guy, the fun guy guy to find out about fun guy. Then you could do worse than give this guy a try. He's the fun guy guy. Oh hi! It's the 25th of July. I'm the fun guy guy. And I wonder have you met my friend the orange grisette? Yet. I'm going to stop ramming. I can't always get the timing right. Okay, have a look at this beautiful little pair there. Little pair there. I've done it again, another little rhyme. So here we have. Zoom please and focus. There we are. Just bursting out. Finger. There. <gasps> there. Now this is a unique mushroom, it belongs in the Amanita family and it grows out of a sack, one of the key identifying features to identify the features of a orange grisette. Just a little remnant of a white veil there, that's on baby brother. But let's go over to big brother, hello, there you are, let's take that grass away for aesthetics. And this is a beautiful thing, this is a classic way of recognising the orange grisette uh, because of this white sack here that it's burst through. This completely covered uh, the grisette when it was in the ground, like a white egg, uh, called the vulva. That's not the vulva. What's left is the vulva that the sack it's sitting in. The egg that covered it is called the universal veil. He knows that. Well then he should tell us. Get his facts right. And it's burst through that now, uh, leaving it behind and leaving this kind of sack behind. It's like an egg cup that it sits in. You can just see the, the stipe peeping through the stem. It needs to move on to the bigger one. Ali, can you move on to the bigger one now, please? I've actually got a bigger one. Should we see the bigger one? Yeah, let's see the bigger one. Come over here. Okay, we're going to go over here. Focus, please. Found a bigger one. Here it is. So let's have a quick look at some key features here. Uh, this is beautiful. So it's still quite young. Uh, this cap will open out eventually. Let's start with the cap. A beautiful orange colour, often a little bit darker in the centre, which we can see there, just a touch darker. When this flattens out, you'll be left with a slight umble, which is often a bit darker. Uh, the gill edge here, the edge on... Oh, can I get close enough? I have to do my super duper close up so you can just see there's these little lines striations it's a striate margin the margin being the outside just these little lines a classic sign of a grisette that that's the edge of your orange grisette right there right there now i guess it seems a bit strange that i'm using a close-up lens that suggests you can't do it with the naked eye not true not so it was just that my camera couldn't pick it up very easily from a foot's distance and if we go into the stem you can see all that fluffy white it's sometimes zigzag, fluffy white and orange, but because this is quite young, there isn't enough room to see that properly. And here are the remnants of the universal veil. <laughs> that, that body that covers it, that creates that egg. So, here it is. As I mentioned earlier, part of the Amanita family, uh, which is one of our deadliest families for poisonous mushrooms. As it happens, this is not one of those, but can be mistaken quite easily for them. And considering how deadly they are, I wouldn't go around picking them if I were you. Why is he lying down? Uh, this is a beautiful specimen. Can be easily confused with the tawny grisette. Uh, there are, however, a couple of features, as they usually are with these things, which is what makes it so exciting. Uh, that you could pin down to, make, to differentiate that. Uh, the tawny grisette would usually be a slightly more buff brown colour, um, but it is variable, as, again, I say so often with these things, it is variable, but generally a tawny, tawny bean brown, I think. I should check that out, I shouldn't I? check my facts before I start throwing them around. Maybe he's forgotten his tripod. And it would have white gills underneath. This has a creamy colour gill. Oh, look how, look how fragile they are, they're so fragile, these grisettes. Uh, well, this will have cream gills underneath. I'm tempted to leave it alone, I don't really want to pick this, it's just so beautiful and young and that the key features will be better when it's bigger. I may be back tomorrow. There may be a part two at the end of this video, and if so, that would make me somewhat closer to being a real professional. If I choose to come back out of my way on the way to work tomorrow, it's a big deal, it'd take me an hour out, but I might have to do it just to get a, a better version, a better close-up of a mature specimen. He'll not come back. No chance. 
And finally, the difference between this and a tonic grisette is that the tonic grisette would have a much smoother stipe, a much smoother stem, uh, whereas this has that fluffy snakeskin zigzag kind of thing going on. It's a beautiful thing. They're really gorgeous to find uh, like this, especially when they open up like that. But they're only around for a few days or so, like many fungi, but a lovely thing to find. How does it feel about this find? Oh hi, I'm Alice Brain. Uh, he seems really excited about this orange gazette. Let's check out how it registers on the gyometer right now. Happy chips! I only usually find them so far in grassland, I think maybe once in the woods. It says it's a woodland species, uh, but well, I do have in common my findings with the book findings is that uh, they are near birch or hardwood trees and we've got a big old birch over there. There's the birch I think that it's with. Say hello to Rucksack, hello. And there's your birch um, that I do believe this is growing uh, in relationship with. These guys are having a relationship, a mycorrhizal relationship. I'm sure I've talked about some video about that somewhere. Click on the link if there is one. Anywhere there. Goodbye! Hang on. He did come back. He never did come back. He did. He came back. I've got the footage here. Was it worth it? Is it convincing? Oh, is it ever? <laughs> so here it is from above. A fully opened cap. Here's that little umbo I talked about. A little bit browner and darker in the middle. Uh, deeply grooved cap edge, striated edge, and if we have a look underneath, okay, this one have released thousands upon thousands of spores. Here we are, close together gills, that fluffy stem I spoke about, and no ring to be seen, but people do say they start with a ring, but very, very hard to ever find it with that on there. There we go, your orange gazette, beautiful. Hello, fly. Nice to see you. We'll leave that stunning way it was.